Oh boy, this was a toughie. Right, this build's whack. Like, it's weird. It's I'm still trying to figure out if it's good or not, but I'll just put it out there and see what people think. Um, blue screen. It's a weird as hell weapon. The idea behind it, I really like, but the way it works, I find annoying. Now, shooting an enemy applies a stack. One to 10 stacks is pulse the target for five seconds. 11 to 25 stacks, pulse and disrupt the marked target for five seconds. 26 to 49 stacks, pulse, disrupt and disorient the marked targets for five seconds. And then at 50 stacks, pulse, disrupt, disorient marked, target, marked targets and all hostiles within 10 meters of the marked target for five seconds. This effect will be triggered immediately if any of the marked target is killed. You can also trigger it by activating skills. Now to me, in my head, when I read that, that means if I get 50 stacks on one enemy and then I kill them, all enemies within five meters will be pulsed, disrupted, disorientated, blah de blah de blah From testing this, I don't know how many damn times. This is not what happens. It only does it to enemies that are already marked. So this kind of means you've got to sort of do a spray and play style, which for some stupid reason I'm using glass cannon with. So um, yeah, I am dumb. And if it does pulse disrupt and disorient targets within five meters, I'm it's it's not happening for me. So I'm calling bug. But then are we even remotely surprised by that? Anyway, so I kind of tried to figure out varying different ways in which you could run blue screen. I have a hardwire support build where I basically just sit in cover, spam the living crap out of everything, and then just throw skills everywhere. Kind of helps. Uh, I've tried it with Future Initiative. I have also tried it with Eclipse Protocol, um, which is weird. Like, it's weird. It works very, very well as a supporting weapon, but I kind of feel like it's an LMG. It does actually hit pretty hard and the handling on it is pretty impressive so I kind of wanted to get more of like a solo style DPS build going with it but in order to utilize blue screen effectively I would argue you would need to be able to literally just spray and pray now there's only really one set in the game that really benefits from spray and pray and that would be negotiators guess where this is going now, I will admit, in an attempt to try and maximize the use of negotiators and blue screen, I was doing some really, really dumb plays. So this is this mission literally took me like three attempts. Um, one, because trying to utilize negotiators with blue screen, although it works well, you're still quite limited and you don't have a lot of upfront damage to deal with a lot of issues, especially Chungas, um, which is why I'm going survive list with this uh, if there is a chunga just pull your crossbow out shoot them it cracks them go back to shooting them with your lmg it's also why i'm carrying the rock and roll just in case there is someone that gets a little bit too close i can rock, rock their world and then roll them down a hill so i have tried to give it some sort of thought as to the limitations of this build it's a bit of fun to play, it's a bit interesting, it's definitely off meta. Um, I would argue it's better in a group, simply because you're able to build stacks more efficiently, which is weird, because the longer things live, the more stacks you can build, as well as utilizing negotiators. The negotiator crit transfer does not actually give you any extra stacks it's only literally what you are directly hitting that will provide you with the stacks so i suppose that's fair but i was kind of hoping there'd be like a weird interaction there but still no and my overall real opinion of this build is negotiated is great just don't use blue screen which is probably weird considering i'm posting this video but it's 
still something a bit different, a bit unusual. And it does allow for some interesting plays, particularly if you are using something a bit more of like a spammable skill to try and optimize the way in which you're using blue screen stacks. I've got a pretty good demonstration of that coming up. I can't quite remember. Um, I've had to reset my manhunt, by the way, because it bugged out. So here I go again. Yay, Major Castillo. Who is an absolute bell end? Anyway, the demonstration coming up, I'll point out when it comes to it, but he just likes running around in a circle, hiding in cover. Um, one of the biggest flaws with this build, which is demonstrated here, is one, I'm running glass cannon, so I would suggest not using glass cannon with this. Um, but where LMG puts everything in cover, I can't shoot them. So I need to move around and get closer. But the moment I do that, they do their weird wool hack sniper bullshit of just putting their hand over the top of cover and being able to hit you with every damn shot. Despite the fact that they literally have their head between their knees, can't see you, but they're able to hit you perfectly every damn time. And it's really hard for you to shoot them because all you've really got to aim at is their damn little pinky. So yeah, I definitely made a mistake using perfect glass cannon, not perfect glass cannon, glass cannon for this but it worked out well it wasn't the most stressful or strenuous thing in the world it's just not as comfortable as i typically like to play it wasn't as much damage as i really wanted although the blue screen is not completely optimized but i'm only missing like two and a half percent so and i mean it worked well enough to a point of where i was when i actually cracked on and wasn't trying to do silly bollocks i was able to just easily just push through this mission um took a bit of time to get it done but it wasn't like running a regular build or a decent skill build it was just it was okay anyway as we can see costello is marked with my pulses he's being a bit of a bell end just gonna try and throw a grenade over there to get him to move because i really really need to get rid of his stupid little healing box to push him out of the way now that he's moving i've got to wait for my flames to clear and then I can push onto that platform. I'm gonna try and ping him with a crossbow first just to make sure he keeps his head in cover. Another good use for the crossbow. It uh, causes things to uh, panic a little bit so you can move a little bit more easily. So there's the crossbow hit. Just gonna get him to move. And now we're gonna try and move cover to get rid of his platform. Once we've moved cover, mark him with negotiators, shoot the platform. That one should do enough damage to him. He's now going to try and push me with grenades and more bollocks because this is what Perfect Glass Cannon doesn't allow you to do. You're going to get stuck in the door because of the stupid cover to cover system, which is wonky. And now we are going to try and armor up. He is still marked with max stacks. Going to drop my little chem to heal. And that will also trigger him to be disoriented, disrupted, get knocked out of cover, and I can finish him off. That's basically it. Anyway, as for damage, as you can see, it's not too bad. We're hitting about 900k on headshots, and then body shots aren't that much different. It's like 700k, high 600s. Anyway, yeah, four piece negotiators with crit damage rolls. Like I said, I am missing a bit on the boost screen itself. Rock and roll for rushers, four piece negotiators, all with weapon damage, crit damage. I have a Petrov chest with glass cannon, crit chance, crit damage rolls, and a Cheska backpack with crit chance, crit damage rolls, and vigilance. For mods, it's two crit chance, one crit damage, and this puts me to a grand total of 59% critical hit chance and 149% critical hit damage before any of the crit damage stacking from negotiators. Like I said, I am using survivalist. This gives me a little bit more healing. I'm using the healing chems just because you have three of them and I'm able to utilize them to proc blue screen and a reviver hive because I like safety nets because I play badly and very aggressively and get myself killed due to being impatient and dumb. 
Anyway, that just about does it for this video. I'm hoping it's maybe given you a few ideas to work with blue screen, or if you have any better ideas, I'd love to hear about them. In the meantime, good luck, have fun, and don't die. It's bad for the health.